All right, so hello everyone. So for today's video, um, we're gonna be doing this house first a world where humans do not have a biological need to sleep. Um, this is one of my favorite motions that I made last year. Um, this is for the Shanghai Novice Debate Open. Um, really, really great tournament. Uh, we set a lot of good motions, David and I, and this one was my favorite one. All right, game. So we're gonna be opening opposition, and I'm gonna start the prep time right now. All right, so. I think a few things immediately come to mind when I look at this motion in particular. I know that the debate is about the biological need to sleep. So it's not like voluntary rest, but it is forced rest. So the, the debate is about forced rest. Um, debate is about forced rest. Uh, and, and I definitely want to um, make my arguments nuanced to that. The second thing I look at when I see the motion is that it's a, you know, it's a this house refers a world motion. So it's definitely about the, the uh, a norm where everyone knows that this is the case. Um, it's also everyone is going to not have this biological need to sleep. And society structures are itself around not having this biological need to sleep versus a world where we currently have a biological need to sleep. Uh, and I think right now as opening opposition, I'm quite worried of a few strong arguments from government side. I know OG can run a really good argument on um, saying that simply time is good. They can also run an argument where they say that um, you know, time is good because sleep takes away that time. And then they could argue the reasons as to why life is better with more time because maybe they could argue that you have more things to do, but, but also that you feel that you have more control over the things that you could do in a day. Um, they could also argue uh, and I think this is a stronger argument, to be fair, that opening government could say that um, OO is vulnerable to a sleep-deprived society. And I, I think that's definitely um, quite a worrisome argument. They, they could explain the reasons as to why, um, you know, even if you try and have forced rest, people don't meet those biological needs. And that is an unhealthier world and more people are unhappy, they're stressed, and all of the consequences of that type of world i think that's a fantastic argument og could also run and i also know that og could also run another argument to say that um you know um without the biological need to sleep we we might we might just have a more productive and more equitable or fair world and i think they could just give many of the reasons to explain that because more people are able to work more um this is gonna be better for a lot of people because they could just earn more money, and that 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 could be fantastic. So, given this um, intuitive, strong arguments from OG, I think there are a few ways I'd want to develop the opening opposition case. I would want to develop my clash first by saying that um, we prefer a world with the biological need to sleep, sleep, forced rest is a necessary um, component of what makes our world um, more productive, more equitable, less exploitative, and more meaningful. <clears throat> so I'll make a few arguments as a consequence of this. Um, I, I would actually think about making three arguments for this one since it's a, it's a broad enough debate, but I think there are some unifying characterizations that I would want to apply across many of these arguments, um, like the characterization of what forced rest looked like or um, the expectation that people all have forced rest as well or you know the biological need to sleep. So number one, I'd probably make the argument that um, sleep is a counterbalance against um, workplace exploitation. The second argument that I would likely make, so I, I'm thinking about making this argument because I know that I want to respond to this one. I also res want to respond to the productivity argument. Um, the second argument I'd probably want to make is that sleep is uh, meaningful, um, Less time, less uh, sleep is a necessary break 
in life, in daily life, life for um happiness and reflection. <clears throat> and then the last argument I would make is that sleep um is is good for social cohesion. So this one is more individual. This one is more societal. So I think like these two arguments, these are the, the argument two and number three, they kind of address the first one, which is that time is good and that, you know, this is like some happiness fulfillment argument opening government could run. Um, the first argument addresses like the, the, the strongest, I think the, in terms of the implications of what life will look like or what the structures of life would look like, uh, the cultural norm around sleep and people working more and all of that. Uh, and then there are a few things that I'd want to do within each argument. Um, just to budget our time, we have 10 minutes left. So I'm trying to think about how could we organize our prep for the remaining time? How am I going to prioritize this time? I'd want to spend a lot of time in the first argument. So I know that there, there's a there's a preemption or a response that I'd want to make here uh, in, in the first part of the argument. It is that um, the like capitalist workplace um, social comparison incentives exist on either side of the house. And it is likely that uh, the non existence of sleep will be weaponized against individuals in a way where they feel more so less in control of their time because they have competing obligations but it will be most likely all consumed by their work over all other things because they have no excuse because they simply have no excuse now on our model or in our world in our world even if sleep gives you less time it is <clears throat> it is a necessary component of life that people need or or that, that other people other people in your life have to accommodate for because they also get sleepy you are more productive when you get more rest and you and and, and that sleep is is that, is that the the biological need to sleep need to sleep provides a lot of um a lot of needed pro provides the foundation sorry provides the foundation for a lot of needed um requirements for rest for individuals and so I think that the social cultural norm around sleep, right? It, it's not going to be perceived as one in which like it creates this sleep deprived society, right? I want to say that this argument, um, th this proves, sorry, I want to add this in another layer so it's more clear. This proves that um, it is unlikely we will live in a, wholly sleep deprived society because there are many personal and business incentives to reduce or mitigate the most overwhelming aspects of a of an overwhelming work life. And so the likely world we have is one where most people do not spend all their time in work and that sleep is a counterbalance against spending 
a skewed work life balance. Uh, and then I think part of the argument, right, is just explaining that how does this counterbalance happen? It happens in lobbying, legislation. Um, this counterbalance also happens like within within the workplace, and the counterbalance also happens um, because of other hobbies and things people want to do in life. So, so even if work is the most important. Uh, sorry, is the most um, financially rewarding thing for most people. Sleep opens up the opportunity for people to immerse in um, the other things that simply give them more depth and meaning. And this is the part that I think is quite, that most people usually miss out when they're building this argument. They, they do have to accept and then give the, the the explanation as to why like people spending more time with their family is a good thing like family is important um relationships are important they are meaningful because they um they are not transactional um and the more time we get to spend with them, the more we become better people, right? Like we become more empathetic, we become more, we, we have stronger convictions, stronger convictions, etc. So I think it's perfectly fine, right? We want to say that this is a good, an argument about control, autonomy, all good things people that want to access this sleep is a good counterbalance against this and that that is why people like even if gov tries to say that you earn more money and all that other stuff i would say that you know um those incentives will likely be skewed in a way that exploits you more takes more of your time so the the money and the way you could use it for yourself is not that worth it in the first place the second argument would probably be um so i think i, I i'm i'm quite good with the way i would build this now i would say the second argument is that um, even if, uh, even if, um, Gov has a more productive world and one that is more focused on, um, the daily grind, forced sleep is, is, is good for the individual because Gov will not, will likely, likely socially pressure individuals out of the voluntary nature of sleep, right? So like, um, it's going to be like, it's going to be, um, it's going to be seen as unproductive, etc. And I think that we want to say that the only way we were able to um, really provide a break for people was because it was mediated by the lens of sleep being biologically necessary. And I think there are some parts that I would elaborate on this argument. Why is rest and break important this is quite intuitive in my opinion like rest and breaks are important because we want to um we want to reflect we want to have a clearer picture of how life is going we also want to you know take away the burdens of the past day and be able to to um, create an, a fresh start for ourselves each time and the long hours of sleep away from one another is uh, uh, sorry a long hours of sleep away from our daily work life is a good thing 
And I would also talk about why this is also good for social cohesion. So it's kind of like a another extension of the second argument, actually. Um, you could say that the individual also leads to the com communal. But, but I guess there are other ways that I'd also want to explain this argument that a world without sleep on gov or the biological need to sleep, right? Without the without the biological need to sleep is also one where it is more likely that individuals would have less empathy for one another, um, more hate, and more, more social divisions. Why is this the case? Because the, um, because the biologic, uh, biological need to sleep would have otherwise created those spaces for reconciliation and rest and that gov has to deal with a society where everyone continuously interacts with each other other um has to always be on call and on um online with the expectation that other people are talking to them all the time etc and i think that you know there are many illustrations you could add to this argument like the usual daily um bullying that you might have or people from other communities that you meet like you read on a regular basis like on a weekly basis or a daily basis all of that stuff i would say that sleep um is good for social cohesion because you know that it's like a it's a point of empathy that people have with one another that people all need this for stress that people when they're tirelessly at work at something right all of them need to go home and all of them need to sleep and that all of them are vulnerable in this way so i would say that like sleep is a point of empathy because of that shared vulnerability and there are other ways that i want to probably explain this argument too okay all right it's pretty nice i like this prep time um this is a very very nice motion i still really love it until now um i think there are a lot of ways that you could um create motions like this or deal with motions like this quite quite interesting um wh what i did for this exercise was come up with the best arguments for og uh, and then try and respond to each and every one of them do a lot of um responsive weighing in terms of the context and what it's likely going to look like and i think it's quite important that the debate is about forced stressed that the biological need to sleep is indeed um inherent as one that is biological that everyone has it and that is a m way for people to have better depth in their life and have better social cohesion in this life all right that's fantastic all right thank you everyone have a great day and enjoy